Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Sari Zubin and I'm Sari Khalid and today we'll be demonstrating experiment entitled Capacitor in AC circuit. Alright, so before you begin, get to know the experiment. So the experiment, uh, the experiment has an introduction here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know is the objective. So there are two objectives here. The first is to determine uh, the capacitance impedance as a function of capacitance. The second Ah, sorry. The second is to determine capacitive impedance as a function of frequency. Okay, so that is the ob objective for this experiment. And then the apparatus. So we have here is the plug-in board. Okay, the plug-in board. And then we also have the resistors here. There are multiple resistors here. And then we also have our digital function generator. Okay, so this is our digital function generator. And then we also have our oscilloscope. Okay, so this is our oscilloscope. And the display for the oscilloscope is using the laptop. Okay, so this is known as the BNC port, okay, connected to the oscilloscope. Okay, so now that we've gotten to know all the apparatus, or oh, one more thing, we also have a resistor. Capacitance. Uh, capacitance. Okay, so now moving on to our table, okay, for the first objective, noted at this point you have the capacitance and then uh, several parameters here. So the thing is, the first thing that you need to know is that your capacitor is your manipulated variable. Okay. So now that you know that this is the manipulated variable, you are ready to set up the circuit board. All right. So from here, this is connection in terms of series. This is the schematic diagram of the circuit. So get to know that this is your digital function generator, providing a four volt, and then from there it will go through your resistance. And then after going through your resistance, it will go to your capacitance. And then at this point, you have your channel 1 connected uh, to your resistance, your channel 2 connected to your capacitance. Now, Sir Izudin will show you how to connect it. Alright, so when we connect the circuit, first we must start from the positive terminal of the function generator, which is this part. So, we'll plug it in at the output. And then we, we plug it into one of these grids. So this grid will indicate that there is connection. In other words, when we connect any component here, it will connect directly to the positive terminal of the function generator. So moving on to the resistor. So for the first objective, we will need resistor with the value of 1 ohm okay. so we connect it here sorry okay okay and then after that it comes capacitor so we also need capacitor with the value of 1 microfarad okay. and finally will go to the negative terminal of the function generator. So we have completed the RC series circuit, but we also need to connect the, the probe so that the oscilloscope can read the signal. So for the channel 1, it will connect across the resistor. So let's see, okay. this is the probe for channel 1. So we need the positive terminal between resistor and positive terminal of the function generator. So we put it at this grid. Okay. And then at the end of the resistor is the negative terminal from the channel 1. So we put it at this grid. So this probe will be connected across this resistor. S for capacitor is connected by channel 2. So, first is the negative terminal of channel 2. It will be placed here. And then across the capacitor is the positive terminal. So, we have completed the setup of this experiment. Okay, thank you Sir Izudin. Now that Sir Izudin has set up and you've already gotten to know how to set, set it up on your circuit board, the first thing that you always have to do before you proceed on your table is to check the constant. So for the first part, it says that the frequency must be set to 4 kHz. So using the function generator at this point, 
there's a label written here frequency so the current frequency is written as 200 hertz so you have to adjust this one to 4 kilohertz so 4 kilohertz represents 4000 hertz so press this button the frequency you can actually press okay press the button and from here you can actually edit it okay so from here you want to increase it all the way up to 4000 kilohertz so now it's 1.2 kilohertz so the thing is if you tune it this this way it actually slowly rises or you can actually just press this one go to the other side and then tune this one all the way up to 4 kilohertz set this one to zero so this one is 4 hertz 4 kilohertz so now you have already fulfilled one of the constant parameter next it says that your resistor must be in terms of one ohm this one has already been set up by sir isu just now and then next we must have uh, operating voltage of around 4 volt so this 4 volt actually represents the amplitude of total voltage, of total voltage okay so your 4 volt is actually tuned by using your amplitude so you tune this amplitude okay so you can actually go down or go up so how do you tune this one you can actually look at channel 2 at this point okay take note it is channel 2 and then tune this one all the way up to 4 volt okay so roughly now it's around 4.08 so if you have more time tune it all the way up to 4 volt so at this point what you're supposed to get is your mu r naught so your mu r naught is actually the channel one okay so this channel one will tell you what is the voltage across your resistor so once you've gotten to know uh, the value here fill it in and then from here it is a self-explanatory where one divided by the capacitor that you're using and then your i naught here you can actually use it in your equation five where in equation one it says like your mu r naught is divided by your resistance where both of this value is already given okay take note that your mu r naught is the value that you've gotten from your channel one at this point so you have your channel one value here and then capacitor just one divided by capacitor it is self-explanatory i naught is using equation one here just substitute in and then you can get your i naught and then for your xc which is your impedance you can actually use sorry ah. My apologies, your capacitive impedance, you can actually use your equation number 2, where mu naught divided by your I naught, where your mu naught just now is equal to 4 volt, divided by the I naught that you've gotten from your equation 1. Okay, so that actually concludes for your first table. Answer? Alright, so you have done for 1 microfarad, so you will repeat this. Without changing the voltage, we will keep this constant, we will keep this entity constant throughout objective 1 and 2. So, now we will change the capacitance into the other capacitance. So, we have 1 microfarad and also 0 0.1 microfarad. However, for the other values of capacitance, we need, we need to combine 2 or 3 Cap capacitors with one microfarad in series or parallel or perhaps combination. So in, si in series configuration, it will look like this. Okay. All right. To connect like this, we first need to take off, take away the negative terminal and. The, and channel 2 the probe from channel 2 and then we will connect it across this grid right so this will show the series configuration after that we will connect the negative terminal of the function director and finally we will connect the probe from channel 2 okay? we will connect it from end to end okay? All right. So this is called the series configuration, and it has the e equation here, where the equivalent capacitance here, one over C EQ equals to one over C one plus one over C two, and so on. Okay. You can verify this yourself that this configuration has the capacitance of zero point five microfarad. As for Parallel circuit it will look like this. Right. So again, we'll take off 
will take away the negative terminal and channel 2. Okay. For parallel configuration, we will connect it in such, in such a way that the two bridges are connecting between, between the grids. Okay. So we will connect the negative terminal. Right? No, no. Okay. We will connect the negative terminal on this grid and then we will connect the probes from end to end like this alright okay. so there's also an equation here equivalent capacitance equal to C1 plus C2 and so on so you can also verify this yourself that this, this circuit has capacitance of 2 microfarad okay now that you finished with your first objective now moving into the second objective you need to make sure all the concern is the same but take note that you're not supposed to change anything from the first objective other than the resistor so the resistor now change it into 10 ohm so at this point this is where the channel 1 was just now the channel 1 is just now affixed with 1 ohm of resistor so unplug it and replace it with a 10 ohm resistor so at this point we can see that the manipulated variable here is given in terms of frequency okay which is your hertz in terms of your unit so from here try to make a good Try to get a good interval, maybe 2, 4, 6, 8, or so on, or 100, 200, 300, 400, as long as there is an interval to it. Okay? However, at this point, despite already having all this information here, we must actually make sure to see that the display is actually um, observable. Okay? So, Izudi will show you how to change the time division so that you can actually see the pattern. Alright, so let's say the frequency is set to. 100 hertz. Okay, so you can see that there is no there is no observable waveform. Alright. So in order to make the waveform observable, we must change the division. So we can change the voltage division or the vertical division. We can make it bigger, smaller. Okay. Uh, Perhaps we use uh, okay. Perhaps we use two volt, and then we can also change the time division here. So in this case, we will set it to one millisecond, and we will have observable sinusoidal form. Okay. Thank you so easily. So now that you've already noticed that both of the pattern of your red and your yellow one has sinusoidal pattern. What you're supposed to ne take next is your mu R0, where this one is actually the change in your channel 1, which is your resistor. Okay, so in your channel 1, you can actually see that the millivolt here is given as 8 millivolt. So just input what is the corresponding frequency that you put just now, which is 100 hertz, and then the mu R0 is 8 millivolt. Okay, and make sure to always pause it if you're unsure. So when you pause the result, the result will no longer fluctuate and you always maintain at this point. Okay, so repeat this process and then make sure your interval is the same and then you can actually adjust between your channel 1 and channel 2 based on the voltage here and also you can change the time division to actually show this sinusoidal pattern for both the red one and the yellow one. Okay, so how do you get for your 1 over F? This one is self-explanatory. Just take 1 divided by the frequency that you have set and then your I0 and XC similar to the one that you did in your table 1 or your objective 1 use back the formula in equation 1 and equation 2 so that concludes for this experiment thank you thank you